All right, time for a look at the arts and entertainment uh, and a favorite from the stage. That's right. Uh, well, actually, one of our country's most beloved actors uh, preparing to reprise one of her most popular roles for the last time. Nicola Cavendish is earning five-star reviews for her latest portrayal of Shirley Valentine. Uh, this time around, it's being hosted by Victoria's Blue Bridge Repertory Theatre. <laughs> And after doing the play more than 600 times, the actor is personally connecting with it like never before. You know, before you've had the horizontal party with them, they're marvelous then. Before Shirley Valentine appears on stage, Nicola Cavendish must become her backstage. There's my costumes. You see them all? Your wigs. That's right, and my wigs. <laughs> oh, we're, we're backstage, and all of a sudden you're, 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 the accent is coming out. That's right, Pavlovian. So I see the costumes, and I'm, in, you know, I'm instantly her. And um, I need to practice my accent anyway, you know, really. I've got to remember that it's, it's uh, where the Beatles come from. If the first step to becoming a woman from Liverpool is adding accents and accessories, <laughs> the second is enduring the stage alone. Metaphorically speaking, I have to put on some really big hobnail boots and I have to go to war because it takes a lot of stamina. Shirley Valentine is a one-woman show, which means the actor and writer Willie Russell must get the audience on side right away. She's talking to them and inviting them along, and then he cracks a joke, and then another one and another one. And then this comedy about a middle-aged housewife takes off. I'm not a feminist. You meet her preparing a supper for her husband, which she's done endlessly and lovingly. And she's starting to wonder why she doesn't feel so fulfilled or happy. The play is ultimately about leaving the familiar behind, a theme that resonates with its star. Because my husband, my husband, Michael, died unexpectedly, suddenly, in my arms uh, early one morning, July the 6th, 2011. And as a result of that shock, that extraordinary reality, I am suddenly the person who is stepping away from something that's been familiar for 32 years and is moving towards something unknown. And when I perform Shirley every night, it's like a bomb. It's like a healing bomb. It's I listen to the words that come out of her mouth and I learn from her. And I take strength from her. And it's... Um, it's extraordinary. It really is. But first, she must be backstage and heed the call of her costumes. <laughs> She's pulling me in. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> Would you like some ham and eggs? <laughs> The show that Valentine opens tonight runs through Sunday at the McPherson Playhouse, and it is uh, proving to be so popular that the Blue Bridge Theatre Company is opening up the Max Balcony for the first time in the company's history. You can find out full details at bluebridgetheatre.ca.